welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is my cash stuffing video to coincide with my October 15th budget. So yes, let's get into it. Today's shout outs go to Budget Treasures, Miss Jasmine. She was actually the reason why I started my YouTube channel when I did. She's heavy on Instagram as well as YouTube. And she does budget videos, cash stuffing videos as well. And she was like, what is stopping you from creating your channel today? She did like a poll on Instagram and I responded. And she was like, girl, what is stopping you? And I was like, I wanted a fire intro video. <laughs> and she's like, you do not need an intro video to start your channel. Just start today because you will not regret it. And I was like, okay, cool. Within the next couple of days, I still did my intro video, y'all. <laughs> but I actually like put the work behind it and went ahead and pushed myself to get started because I feel like I was really just creating excuses and she really pulled that out of me. And she definitely motivates other women to start their channel and, excuse me, create side hustles for themselves because, listen, there's money to be made out here. So thank you, Budget Treasures, Miss Jasmine. Thank you so much. I actually wanted to give another shout out to Taylor Budgets because I reached out to her and told her about my video and for her to give me feedback. And she was so wonderful and more than happy to help me out with that. So thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me some feedback on my videos. Awesome. So let's get into this cash stuffing today. We will be stuffing $405. So this is a cash breakdown teller slip that I make. So it's laminated, it's reusable. I just use um, dry erase marker take it to the teller and they know exactly what denominations I would like. So I sell these. So if you would like a set of cash breakdown slips, please let me know. You can either comment or follow me on Instagram at temps.thoughts and DM, DM me your order. <clears throat> I also create budget binders as I have done for You Are My Sunshine. This is my son's binder. So yeah, you could definitely DM me to get your orders in. So let's count our cash and make sure we have 405. So that's one, two, Fifty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, four. This is one, two, three, four, five. So, yep, that's a total of four o five. So there we go. Here I have my cash envelope. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> my cash envelope breakdown. So it tells me which denominations I'm putting in each envelope. I try to keep it pretty simple, except for my food budget. It helps me save money if I actually do tens and fives. Like it's a proven fact. <laughs> I don't really know, but it's just something that works for me. And personal finance is personal so do what works best for you everything else i keep in like the simplest form for the most part so yeah let's get into it okay so my filofax wallet is from the budget mom i'll leave the description um and all the information in my description below okay So this is where I keep coupons, if I have any. This is my refill envelope. So that's money that needs to go back into my account to either pay on my credit card if I used it 
or my revolving line of credit. So I had already emptied this out and this tells me how much goes to where. So that is already taken care of. My food budget is getting 75. So that's five tens and five fives. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 75. So we do um, grocery pickup for our groceries. So we already spent $100 of this paycheck on that, but I keep that money in my account to pay back on my credit card because we use our credit card for our grocery pickup. So this $75 is strictly for like, if I want to get coffee, if we want to eat out, if we want to grab some fast food or anything, that is what this $75 is for. LJ gets 20. I'm not getting anything in my envelope as I described in my budget with temp video. Household. Um, actually, let's, let me do this giving envelope first, and that's getting five ones. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Gifts, holidays, and birthdays getting nothing. Household is getting 20. Date night isn't getting anything. Miscellaneous is getting five. Looks like I either need to make some new envelopes or order some, cause y'all going through it, okay? <laughs> Miscellaneous splurge, which is really family fun, is getting 50. We are going to a pumpkin patch this weekend and I'm excited. They have like tons of like activities to do and especially for toddlers. So that's the what I'm most excited about because a lot of times LJ can't do a lot of activities because of his age. So he should have a lot of fun and I'm excited. Our emergency envelope here is getting five. I can actually count this one because it has funds in it. <laughs> okay, let's see. So that's 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So I have $100. My goal is 500 within my... Um, emergency fund envelope. This is separate from my actual emergency fund, which is in my account. And there's about 1700 in there, but I haven't made my transfers for this paycheck just yet. So yeah, that would be all for my wallet. So let's move <laughs> along to my budget binder well my sinking fund binder so zeta phi beta gets 20 i do not count this envelope just let it build up Bay's birthday nothing anniversary and valentine's day nothing So my tithes, which is 10% of my income that I give back to charity or the church. So that will get 200. I also do not count this. Okay, sorry, I was struggling. <laughs> Stas, which is my retirement. It's actually supposed to get twenty dollars, but what hap what ha happened was no. <laughs> so what happened? One of my banks allows me to get my paycheck a day early, and the other one doesn't. So 
Yeah, when I filmed this video, my the rest of my paycheck hasn't been deposited yet. So I actually didn't take the $20 out from that account. If that makes sense. I hope it does. If not, just know that it's going to get $20 tomorrow. This is my retirement envelope. Um, like I said, I used to save for my retirement in my account until I moved it over to a brokerage account so I could actively invest my Roth IRA. So I'm going, the goal is to save a thousand, like 500 to a thousand dollars in this envelope before actually transferring it to my Roth IRA to invest because of all the fees that are associated with it. Treat yourself nothing, vacation, nope. The rest of these don't get anything at this time. Um, you are my sunshine. His binder is getting five dollars. So I could go ahead and count this for you. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty two. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. So that is two seventy in his envelope. His birthday is right around the corner. We do plan on having a party, so this will cover that and the party favors. Um, so, yeah. And hopefully the food that is for his birthday party. Um, everything else in this binder is actually getting funded with the child tax credit, so I would do that in an additional video for you guys. So you'll be able to see the breakdown for that. I did include it in my budget with temp video uh, where I broke down how I will be allocating his child tax credit funds. But that will be in, a, in another video. This was just my paycheck cash stuffing. So yes, thank you guys for joining me. If this video was something you like, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and comment i would love to interact with you guys and talk to you please follow me on instagram as well at temps.thoughts i would love to talk to you on there so yeah thank you so much for joining me until next time thank you family bye